Yo, how's it going? Um, I wanted to make a quick movement guide. Um, quite frankly, because I had a lot of people asking me how I did um, some things in my videos. So I kind of wanted to go over that. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I just recently quit bad business. Uh, I feel like the game is just pretty stealth for me at the moment. There's just not a lot going on with the competitive scene. And that was the initial reason why I started uh, playing the game, was for the competitive aspect of it. So, I'm going to be a little bit rusty doing some of these movement techs, but hopefully you guys will get the idea. Okay, so starting off, um, so basic movement, um, obviously sprinting just like this. Um, something that I'll incorporate when I move is space C, and switching between sliding and jump sliding. So slide, jump slide. It's just space C or just regular slide is hold C. And you can hold it for however you, however long you want, depending on how long you want to slide. Okay. So something that everyone should know and something that a lot of high level players will utilize is what's called super jumping. It's pretty straightforward. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. When you go up to a box on this side, depending on which side will also help determine your jump height. So the inputs that you guys need to know for just starting out super jumping is going to be um, sprinting into the box and jumping. So like that, just like that. Now, once you get more comfortable with it, you can time it with your slide, something like this. Basically all I'm doing is sliding, proning, and then doing the super jump input. Now another thing you can do is you can also slide while you're in the air. So just incorporate C while you're jumping. So like this. And then you can slide in the direction that you go into. This is nice if you're trying to get out, take cover. This is a bad spot. Getting up in the spots like here. Same thing. It's super useful to be able to do this. And one thing you guys will need as well is to use the FPS unlocker. Um, you can super jump on 60 frames, but it's not very useful. Um, realistically, if you want to get the full benefits, you're going to want to be running at least 100 frames. Uh, also remember that which side you jump on the box is going to determine your super jump height as well, so that's important to know. An uncommon tech that you guys will see me use for movement is just peaks. So just jumping and peaking. Um, this will require good crosshair placement, so it'll take, there's a little bit of a learning curve to it. But peaks are nice, especially if you're fighting against someone who's on high ping as well. So just use your peaks to your advantage. Okay. So real quick. Um, I wanted to go over kind of my loadouts as well because the video is relatively short. Um, the biggest, biggest part when learning movement is just knowing how to do the inputs and then just using it to your advantage. So it just comes down to game sense in that aspect. But I want to go over some of my loadouts as well. Um, some of my setups. I use Scar H a lot for the longer range maps. Just my Scar H setup. It's like no recoil. IRX, no recoil, faster rate of fire. It's basically a better glue. Full auto FAMAS. And then if you want a long range, slow pace setup, I use I believe this is the setup I use. And this is the setup I use for long range. It's awesome. I've actually used it. Um, it's in one of my montages. My MP7. So I've been using the, well, was using the 45 round setup. Um, I don't sacrifice too much handling. I think this one's pretty neat. But one that you'll commonly see me use is uh, Max Mobility. This is my max mobility set up here. Here's my M4 setup. 
Und so weiter. But appreciate everyone um, who subscribed to me. Um, appreciate all the support. Um, unfortunately, I won't be coming back uh, to this game until they change some things because, quite frankly, I'm pretty bored of the game. Um, so in the meantime, I'll be uploading some Phantom Forces content. Peace.